It's the Sergio Show. And here's your host, Sergio Dominguez. Oh, hey, everybody. How's it going? Welcome to the Season 7 premiere of the Sergio Show. I'm Sergio Dominguez. Now, for this episode, we're going to talk about music. Now, music does have an important part in the thing that I love the most, which is animation. Now, what has an important part in animation is because music can set the tone. Music can excite you, scare you, fear you, confuse you, give you the emotions that the cartoon wants to tell you that isn't visually. And especially if you're a cartoon from the classic good old days when you couldn't talk, then you would have to rely on music to set up the mood and how the character acts and so on and so forth with a couple of notes from maybe one instrument, two instruments, maybe a million, no, I don't think there were a million instruments, but still a number of instruments telling you how you should feel when watching a cartoon uh, musically. So for this episode, I'm going to play a couple of musical notes that will set up a tone that you could possibly hear in movies, TV shows, or in this case, animated cartoons. But I do warn you, I myself have made these music samples that you're about to hear in this episode, and there's a good chance that they don't sound perfect. If anything, it could sound pretty bad. But I'm just letting you know now, I'm warning especially your ears, that this is made by me, the music samples. So I wish you luck, I warned you, and... Let's get this episode started. Here's the first music example, and it's happy, joyful, gleeful, so play it. <laughs> This one's action-filled, intense, so play it. Anyway, that was all the music samples that I have to offer. I could do a couple more, but that's the best I can think of and do right now. Well, you know, time crunch, all that stuff. Anyway... That's all for this episode of this musically kind of themed episode of The Sergio Show. I hope you had something to take away with this musically. Kinda. Oh well. Thank you and I'm sorry. For, you know, making that music. Anyway, I'm Sergio Dominguez saying, Have an animated day. <laughs> Sergio Studios. The Sergio Show. And here's your host, Sergio Dominguez. Hey, what's up, folks? Welcome to The Sergio Show. I'm Sergio Dominguez, the host as usual. For this episode, it's just gonna be me doing a skit on showing you how to hide an alien. If anyone ever encountered an alien, what would they do? What would you do about it? So I had some ideas with jokes to go with it, and here we are! And I couldn't find a better way to segue this episode, so here it is! What to do with an alien? Uh, this is gonna be good? Hi, I'm Sergio Dominguez. Have you ever had a personal encounter with a life form from outer space or an alien, as the idiots would say? Yes, well, that's good. Uh, wait, what? No? Well, that's okay. Besides, if you ever did encounter an alien, just follow these various possibilities on handling an alien. Option 1. Talk to it. 
To understand the alien, you have to talk to it. Like this. Me, Sergio Dominguez. Me, human being, life form thingy. I come from planet Earth. What is your, your name? It's E.T., okay? Just because I look like a special alien doesn't mean I get to be treated as one. Alright, I can hear you just fine. Uh, option 2. Feed it. There's a chance that aliens have stomachs, and there's even a slimmer chance that it eats non-human flesh things. So be nice and give it some food. Give it some old, moldy, leftover, rotten food first. Uh, uh. Option 3. Play with it. Some aliens can be playful, so go on and play with it on some simple games. Like this one. Go ahead, alien. Fetch. Option 8. We give it to government. If you think you can't handle your very own alien, then try giving it to the government. Like so. Thanks for uh, giving us the alien. You're welcome. Will the alien be okay? We can assure you that we're probably going to run some painful experiments on the alien until it dies. Aw, oh, cool! You hear that? You're going to be part of an experiment. Have fun! Option 9. Send it to space. If your alien friend is homesick, then you have no choice but to send it back to space. Okay, alien. It's time to take you back home now. But unfortunately, I can't afford a rocket ship, so I got this huge slingshot on a box ready for you. So anyway, bye-bye, alien friend. <laughs> there he goes, off to the deepest part of space where no man has gone before to be back with his loved ones, and he just landed on the road. Ouch. And that's all we have for this episode of The Sergio Show. I hope you liked it, and if you didn't, then I apologize. I thought it was a good idea at the time. Well, I'm Sergio Dominguez, saying have an animated day. Sergio Studios. It's the Sergio Show. And here's your host, Sergio Dominguez. Hello and welcome to the Sergio Show. I'm Sergio Dominguez. For this episode, I want to talk about something that's very near and dear to my stomach. And arteries. And mouth. And that is my favorite food of all time. Which is... Cheeseburgers! Mmm! That's right, cheeseburgers. That cooked patty between a bun with some cheese, lettuce, tomato, sometimes condiments like a mustard, ketchup, and my favorite condiment, mayonnaise. And also other sauces. But ultimately, those kinds of ingredients are put together in a pile that makes my favorite cheeseburgers. I was famously introduced to cheeseburgers when I was a wee lad. My parents introduced me to this place which would later become my favorite fast food area. Introduced me to the kid sized cheeseburger, took a nice big old bite, and I was in love with it ever since. Oh, I can't just stop eating those cheeseburgers. Oh yeah. Whenever we go to a fancy restaurant that serves cheeseburgers and order the uh, salad uh, I mean uh, cheeseburgers I would just feel so excited and have this joy in my heart once the cheeseburger is ready for me served in front of me 
and then I salt that thing of more mayonnaise, that thing, and then eat it like a beast. It just, it just makes me so happy, so joyful to consume this cheeseburger that I've always loved and always ate and always enjoyed. All of the process you would do with this food, it would just be a wonderful experience for me personally with the cheeseburger. The cheeseburger will give me such a delightful joy that I've never experienced in my life, even though I've ordered the cheeseburger in so many places throughout my life, dozens and dozens of trillions of times. The way I personally like my cheeseburger setup is with double stack patties and cheese, two, maybe three, sometimes four times. Then I want it served on a side of delicious golden fries. And as for a drink, you know, soda person, but oh, it's such a magical experience when you have it with mm, iced tea. Mm. All that combines a beautiful lunch or dinner experience of eating a cheeseburger. Mm. On a related side note, I once had a out of nowhere soap opera experience with a cheeseburger that, you know, almost breaking up a friendship, me eating another cheeseburger, all that weird stuff. But ultimately, it came down to me, my friend, and this cheeseburger, and there was a twist of what the cheeseburger would decide, and the twist would be cut off, because there was no conclusive ending, because, you know, it was a, a cheeseburger, but it was fun for a really early episode of The Sergio Show. Well, with that tasty note in mind in your brain tummy, I'm going to end this episode right now. Thank you very much for watching this tasty episode of The Sergio Show. I'm Sergio Dominguez saying have an animated day. <laughs>
but he was especially Erba bored. <laughs> Sorry. He was so bored on this land. From where he was standing, he could see a couple of kid dinosaurs trying to look for some valley. This family of dinosaurs acting like a sitcom. And over there at the other distance is some weird ass park. But to him, it didn't matter. He was ultimately bored by himself hundreds of millions of years ago in a time when there was no internet. Oh. So at one point, Dinosaur Sergio got so bored that he decided to check out these caves that these cavemen have left behind. So he looked inside. There was no cavemen in the cave, but he did see something kind of marvelous, kind of groundbreaking. And it was the series of caveman drawings that were on the walls of the cave. He looked at them, but he noticed that there were these different separate caveman drawings. They were kind of the same, but they were varied in movement. He looked at them very quickly at a time. And he realized something. Seeing these cave drawings in order very quickly gave it the illusion of movement. Static drawings and being able to move? This kind of concept blew Dinosaur Sergio's mind. Being so impressed and inspired by that result, Dinosaur Sergio had an interesting idea. So he took the biggest leaves, duplicated the cave drawings with mud, yes mud, then with some trees, rocks, and he took some of that fire thing that he really wasn't all that, you know, cared about. And with all that, Dinosaur Sergio created the wheel. The Wheel of Animation. Oh, he was so happy that he did this little achievement. And he did it all without thumbs. No, that's impressive. But then that pesky fire just went everywhere and burned everything and knocked everything to the ground. Oh. So like that, Dinosaur Sergio was immediately let down, disappointed. This idea, opportunity, was gone. And more importantly, he was bored again. Well... I hope that gave you some hope on dinosaurs. And that's all for this episode of The Sergio Show. You know, sometimes I do wish Dinosaur Sergio the best of luck. Anyway, I'm Sergio Dominguez saying have an animated day. Roar, I'm a dinosaur. <laughs>
No! A new one! Look, it's not that bad. I gotta go wash my face and do other things. When I get back, this pool better be clean completely. Okay? Now, good luck! Wow, Uncle Polaco, I gotta say that you did a great job. Eh, uh, well, you know, it's, uh, it's okay, yeah. It looks good, but I gotta say, it isn't truly perfect until someone goes in. So, I'm gonna go in and try the pool out. Now, I'm gonna go put on my swim trunks, so I will take a uh, five minutes. Oh, ha, 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 very funny, Uncle, very funny. <laughs> Luckily, I didn't bring anything electrical with me. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm, it's actually good. Not too cold, not too hot. It's just right. Good job! You're working me, nephew, eh, Sergio? Yeah, what's great is that you didn't even manage to screw this one up. And, uh... Deal, what's that? Oh? Oh, that is a, it's on a shark. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a shark. Where did you get it? The shark store. How did you get it? I bought it. Why did you get it? So you get uh, something to play with, you know, a, a pool toy. You're a dumbass. I know, you too. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I would swim for my life, but I'm too scared and too lazy to move. That and my pants are too thick to move in water. Well, that's all for this episode of The Sergio Show, kind of. Thanks to my uncle for cleaning the pool and killing me. <laughs> I'm Sergio Dominguez, saying have an animated... Sergio Studios. It's the Sergio Show. And here's your host, Sergio Dominguez. Welcome to another episode of the Sergio Show. I'm Sergio Dominguez. Now let's get this show started with me talking to you about promoting. And by promoting, I don't mean going up in the job system. I mean talking about and showing off the advertisement of your product. In this case, the product of The Sergio Show. So for this episode, I'm going to talk about different ways I could maybe advertise The Sergio Show. So let's begin with the monologue. First, the basic form of promotion, signage. A sign that says, hey, this is the show, or this is the product. And honestly, when you think of signs promoting stuff, you think of the biggest, best one. That is the billboard! Oh, I like billboards, especially when you drive around and you see them about whatever you like or don't like. I someday wish to have a billboard that says, Watch the Sergio Show! In whatever the Sergio Show is being played. But, you know, that's all just wishful thinking. A billboard that says the Sergio Show... That is some great wishful animated thinking. Second, social media. What better way to talk about your show than in a place that hundreds of millions and trillions of people go to hang out on social media? They'll just look at a post here, post there, and all of a sudden, a post for your show. They'll somehow be interested in that. As you know, I am part of a couple of social networks here and there and there and here and here and there and everywhere because there are social media networks everywhere third and the most common part of promoting the commercials 
Yes, those certain amount of time blocks that you see between TV shows and beginning of movies and sometimes randomly in and out of videos online. Yes, those commercials. Even though they help boost actors' careers, it's also pretty annoying, yet it sometimes does help you depending on how good the commercials are. Lastly, one of the most interesting types of promotions are the digital add-ons you see over the videos. You know, depending if you see them online. Sometimes in TV. Barely in movies. Probably not at all in movies. But mostly in the commonplace of online digital videos. Yes, while you're comfortably watching a certain video online, what does pop up? Oh, a promotion for a different type of medium comes on. Maybe a different internet video or a certain type of other medium of videos that are also out that are letting you know that they exist. Yeah, I hope you understood that. But it's over a video. Sometimes they pop up. Sometimes they give you the option to exit out. Sometimes you just don't exit out. You can't. Then you have to wait for it to go away and you wonder why won't this little pop-up go away. But it's something you don't have to worry about watching this certain video. Haha, <laughs> wink. Anyway, that's all I can think of right now about promoting and ways to promote certain things, and in this case, The Sergio Show. Well, I guess I'm done with my lawn log, and if I'm done with my lawn log, then I'm going to end this episode. Well, that's all for this episode of The Sergio Show. Thank you for watching. I'm Sergio Dominguez, saying, have an animated day. <laughs>
You know what? That's it. I had enough. I'm just gonna do this. Yep, you saw it. I just jump cut to the roof of the building. It makes no sense, but I did it anyway. I've been through a lot. Why didn't I do this earlier? It's because I want to go through all those crazy style stuff. So yeah, now to go get my pennies back. Ha ha! Madeline, give me my pennies back. No! Give it! No! Give it! <laughs> no! Give it! No! Ah, <sighs> thank you, sir. You saved my life. I'm sorry I took your pennies. Madeline, even though you took my pennies and made me go through all that, I still love you and you're so cute. It's too bad my pennies are off the building. Uh-oh. Oh, thank God. The jar of pennies are okay. They're just on the ground. Now, how am I going to get down there, huh? Hee <laughs> that's all. For this episode of The Marilyn Show, I'm Marilyn Dominguez saying, had an emanating day. Sergio Studios. It's the Sergio Show. And here's your host, Sergio Dominguez. Hello and welcome to another great episode of the Sergio Show. Minus the great. Well, we'll see. I'm Sergio Dominguez, the host. Now let's get this show started with me talking about cartoon cats. Yes, those whiskered, pointy-eared, fluffy little house pets that a lot of people like and a lot of people love to see in internet form. From a meme to especially the internet video, cats always seem to be fun to look at, sometimes fun to pet, even more fun to hate if you hate cats. Look at them, sometimes they look so cute, but when you look at them real close, you know they secretly hate you, you don't know why. Or do you know why? Hmm. Cats. Especially if you're a mouse, you don't really like cats. But I'm not here to talk about whether you like or don't like cats. I'm here to talk about cartoon cats. <gasps> Me, what? Yes, in one episode, I talked about cartoon doggies. Now, for this episode, I want to talk about cartoon cats and how cartoon cats are cartoon cats because they're cartoon cats. Yeah, let me keep talking about this and you'll get it. You see, the simplest form of a cartoon cat is really just a cat that's a cartoon. You know, like live action cat, but with outlines and a little bit of personality. But cats start off as simplistic cartoon cats. You see, the simplest form of a cartoon cat, well, is a cartoon cat. You know, well, like a live action cat, but given outlines and character animation and that's usually how a cartoon cat starts off but over time cats have had this thing kinda like cartoon dogs where they stand up on two legs and act like human beings then you see them batting on yawns while talking like regular human beings living life like human beings with occasional feline attitude and personality also I know a lot of people are cat fans and a lot of people are even bigger cat cartoon fans. And people do have their favorite cartoon characters who are cats. From movies, TVs, and especially, say it with me, from the internet. As for me, I'm okay with cats. I'm not the biggest fan of cats. Uh, as of this recording, I don't have a pet cat. But I understand why they exist, these cartoon cats. And kind of cats in general. But... Hopefully you understand that being okay with cats is just okay, even if they are animated. Well, that's all I have to say for now for this episode of The Sergio Show. 
Thank you very much for watching. I'm Sergio Dominguez saying meow, 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 meow. Oh, I mean, uh, have an animated day. Sergio Studios. It's the Sergio Show. And here's your host, Sergio Dominguez. Hello and welcome to the Season 7 finale of the Sergio Show. I'm your host, Sergio Dominguez. Well, it's been another great season of this show. We've done a couple of things, like uh, talk about the show... Talk about uh, me as a dinosaur and cartoon cats and promoting and maybe time travel. Uh, well, ultimately, what I do know about this season is it left me burnt out. So burnt out that I'm going to keep it simple. End this season with a big, uh, in a very deep, uh, calm way, with me talking about ugly looking cartoon characters. We live in a day and age in the year 2012 where cartoon characters are surprisingly ugly and I hear in the future they only get more and more ugly. Why? Well, people do like simplistic ideas and sometimes the best kind of memorable looks of a cartoon are the hideous ones. Yes, certain animation studios have those beautiful looking drawings made by professional artists, but sometimes there are people who make cartoons that also like to make them hideous looking and sometimes even the hideous looking cartoons look pretty cool look pretty sweet you know well you don't expect a gross looking cartoon to be so memorable and even better on a t-shirt so for this episode that will conclude season seven and since i'm so exhausted from this season i'm going to show you a bunch of designs and drawings of different kinds of ugly cartoon characters that i kind of made kind of so anyway Enjoy! Hopefully. Wow, wasn't that a delightful montage of ugly looking cartoon characters? Hopefully you learned something about the wonderful drawing that is to make a gross, unsettling, out of model, totally barf inspiring design of a cartoon character. Wow, I think I'm going to be sick. Well, that's all for this episode and the season 7 of The Sergio Show. Thank you very much for watching this season. I'm Sergio Dominguez saying have an animated day <laughs>